From the day we met, I hoped and dreamed that we would get married, but it feels so surreal that it's actually here. You're my best friend and the sister I never had growing up. I could not be more elated that you have found your perfect match in Omer. I still remember when he called me up and he was like, I'm going to marry her. I have never seen him happier than he is when he is with you. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على حبيبنا وشفيعنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله محمد one more time ladies and gentlemen my dear brothers and sisters I greet you all with a greeting of peace السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته we thank God for this beautiful evening we are all here to witness the marriage ceremony of Aya Sultan and Omar Zaidi what a beautiful uh, in, you know marriage what a beautiful couple we thank God for this beautiful place we are all in. We thank God for the company we have. People from different backgrounds, different ethnicities, even different religion. We thank God for the food we're about to share and we thank God for this beautiful marriage. My dear brothers and sisters, marriage in Islam is the tradition of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. He said in one hadith, al nikah min sunnati faman raghiba an sunnati falaysa minni. Marriage is one of my tradition. Anyone he or she rejects or refuses to get married, they are not one of mine. Man kana musa la yankah fi yankah fi yisamini. The one who can afford to get married and they refuse, they are not one of mine. So in Islam, marriage is recommended, is encouraged. Thank you, God, for the marriage and for the institution of marriage. Because of marriage, the human race will continue to exist. From the first time A introduced you to us, and I saw the dynamic between you two and the number of hours you'd spend texting and on the phone with each other, I had a feeling we'd end up here eventually. Even from the short time we've spent together, I can already tell that you're a genuine, honest, and kind person. All the qualities one could ask for in a brother-in-law. Aya, to put it in only a few words, your whole life you have always put everyone else first. And I'm glad that today we can all celebrate you. You really do deserve it. As the firstborn, Aya always had everything first growing up. Whether it was the first Game Boy, the first cell phone, the first car, the first to go to college. So first to be married is only right. You've done very well for yourself. And we are all very proud of you and the person you've become. You are thoughtful, caring, generous, and smart. Aya, you are literally the most beautiful human being on the planet, and tonight only highlights that fact. Omer, I can't even begin to describe the feeling of seeing my brother in a tux marrying his best friend in the whole world. Oh boy. <laughs> I didn't cry all day, to be fair. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Smita, and I'm the luckiest person to be a close friend of both the bride since middle school and the groom since college. The speech was really difficult to compose because there honestly will never be enough words to describe my love for this couple. Aya, I remember the beginning of our friendship back in middle school. We had an instant bond as we both joined Hackley in the same grade. You're one of the few people I really feel like I grew up with. I remember meeting you and very quickly into our friendship, knowing that our friendship would support us both for the long haul as we grew as people. 
I am so thankful that was true. There is no one kinder and more genuine than you. You have always made everyone around you a priority and are such an instinctively giving person. On this day, I hope that all of us can support and uplift you the way that you have always done for everyone else. You are truly the kindest, smartest, most thoughtful man that I've ever met, and I feel so lucky that I have found my soulmate in you. I can't wait to spend the, every second of the rest of my life with you by my side. <laughs> Omar has always been the child that my parents would count on. He always kept his bed made, always kept his room clean, always helped down around the house. Um, the perfect son to my more rebellious nature. Um, and his weekends were always tame. He always played his video games at home, stay up till 10 or 11 at the latest. And so when he uh, started spending his weekends in Boston and he was going out a little bit more, I became suspicious. So after rounds of nagging, a uh, skill that I've inherited from my mother over here and I like to think I've mastered, um, Omar gave in and he told me, he's like, Alina, I met this girl and she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. And he, of course, was talking about you, Aya. And that's very apparent as soon as you meet Aya. She's brilliant as well as beautiful. And when I first met her, my first thought was, how the heck did my brother, Umar, nerd extraordinaire, get this hottie? Marriage and Islam is very simple. Two witnesses. We have two witnesses. We have Wissam uh, Yaqteen and Bassam Yaqteen, the two witnesses. And remember what I said, God is our witness. He is watching over us. That's why I all the time tell husband and wife. Husband and wife, no one sees you but Allah. Fear Allah in each other. Ayah, fear Allah in Umar. And Umar, fear Allah in Ayah. Allah is with you. Love each other because of Allah. Sacrifice because of Allah. Say, I'm going to make my wife the best. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to make her beat me in the conversation. I'm going to make her win the conversation. I will make my husband. It's okay. That's your wife, your husband. You have to be your best friend. You have to listen. You have to tolerate. You have to appreciate. You have to communicate. You have to save this marriage. Make it work. Make it the best. And with the blessing of Allah, with the connection of Allah, Allah will help you to do that. And I pray to Allah to make your marriage to be the best.
زوجيني زوجيني نفسك نفسك على على كتابي كتابي الله الله وعلى وعلى سنتي سنتي رسولي رسولي الله الله محمد محمد صلى الله صلى الله عليه عليه وآله وآله وسلم وسلم now I will say it in English so she, okay. you can you don't understand <laughs> you don't say I don't know what I said you know to, now you know please please give me permission give me permission to marry you to marry you according to according to the book of Allah the book of Allah and according to and according to the tradition the tradition of Prophet Muhammad of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him peace be upon him and his family and his family and according to and according to the dowry the dowry which we which we agreed on agreed on زوجتك نفسي على كتاب الله وعلى سنة رسول الله محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وعلى المهر المتفق عليه بيننا Now, in English I give you permission to marry me according to the book of Allah and according to the tradition of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his family and according to the dowry which we agree upon us I think the most indicative component of our friendship, um, and he says this is an accident, um, was when he slapped me in the face. <laughs> um, I don't even really remember what led up to it, um, but I do remember the event, and it just kind of happened, and then Omer, because he's Omer and he's like the nicest guy in the world, was like the most sincerely apologetic person in the world and I'm just laughing because you know my best friend just slapped me in the face but and it was just like it was a really telling moment of like all right so we're that kind of friends we can slap each other in the face and get along with our lives. So mashallah, he made a proposal for Hal willingly to enter into this marriage. Willing, that the definition of proposal, willing consent to enter into the marriage. And Aya made a willing consent to accept 
the proposal. In front of the two witnesses, we Sam and the Samiqteen, and the witness of Allah Azza with us all, according to Dawri agreed. And now Omar will say, Wa ana? Wa ana? Qabilt. And I? Accept. Now, proposal and acceptance, ijab wa qabool, two witnesses, Dawri agreed on, according to the Quran, the Book of Allah, and the Tajim Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we can say that Omar and Aya, they have become husband and wife. Takbir. Allah.